This is Pickle, and we're the Pickle Crew, Nikki, Chris, Bo and Bear. We're sat at Portland, waiting to be lifted out so we can fix our slet leg once again. Waiting has never been my strong point, but I'm always the optimist, so we go off, have adventures, do some exploring, and make the most of a bad situation. We found some amazing fossils and thoroughly enjoyed beach life. Chisel Beach isn't one you can swim off easily, with its huge rolling waves and massive noisy pebbles, but we did some beach cleans and found a new hobby, painting inspirational pebbles, which we left for people to find. Okay, go. Where you fall down here? Yeah, go on then, Bo. Mud on your leggings. Oh no. Go then, Bear, ready? You can do it. Go. Push your hands. Go. Yeah, that's it. Go. Here, Bo. Come here. This is the World War II D-Day Centre in Portland, uh, Castletown. It's really unlike any museum I've been to before. They actively encourage the young people to climb on all the equipment, all the vehicles, try on the uniforms, handle the guns, and the kids thoroughly enjoy themselves. They had a great few hours there, <laughs> really immersed in the experience of World War II and what it was like. The D-Day Centre really offered our kids a sort of unique chance of uh, seeing what an important role the Port of Portland played during the invasion of Northern France and the great bravery of those thousands and thousands of American and British and Allied troops. That day they departed to those blood-drenched beaches of Normandy. But on not a so serious a note, the kids had a flipping amazing time playing on the full side replica Spitfire, original Sherman tank, and especially the Beaufort's 40mm gun. And of course, the Pucci enjoyed all his fuss and cuddles when we got back. And the kids loved the on-site helicopter. Hiya! Hello! Today's the day. We've been waiting for a week. We've been sat waiting to be lifted up because as you all know, our silhouette leg has broken. There's here. So, I know, he's been off up there video, hasn't he? 
So their <coughs> their hoist broke. <coughs> their, um, <coughs> the sling. The Creative. head gasket on the <coughs> hoist. Oh, your head gasket. Yeah. Went. So we've had to just sit here and wait, which has been annoying. <coughs> but they've been venturing out around Portland, doing lots of things, going to lighthouses and castles and stuff. So today we're getting hoisted and we've waited all day and they've just drunk and said that we're getting hoisted out. No, yes, we, we, we did! Sorry, let me know, I've just got sneezes. <laughs> Ew! Uh, on video! So we're, uh, we're getting lifted up, we're happy about that. Yay! Oh, I'm going to grab the water, but that's just water. No, we're going down the dry, so we can fix, so they can get, lift them, take them off, oh, and the mechanic's going to fix it, hopefully. Yeah. And yeah. Ethan's going to help, aren't you? I'm going to take yeah. it off. And I don't know yet. Yeah. I'm going to take it off and have a look, And we'll see. We'll show you it getting lifted out in just a few minutes. Bye bye, visit to Pontoon. Let the broke, so. On the way to getting lifted out. Yeah. Don't be silly. I can hold it. Hey, Hi, Bo. No more scratches, please. <laughs> On the other side. It, don't I know, but them chocks, I can make I can make steps with them, and I can Wait, use them to stand up until I'm lifting dog up. Is anybody listening? There's ladders. There's ladders. You can use the ladders. Yeah, look, there's, there's a sack out there. Can we do what with that? Oh. I don't know. I'm talking still... about you idiots. There's ladders as well. There's lots of ladders, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a platform. <laughs> Brilliant. There you go. We'll have that. <laughs> that could be straight out that. No bother. Ah, oh, look, it's moving the chocks, look. Oh, I'm video on the floor, I think. Oh, well, though, you might be level now. Now that I've all your bed, you'll be tilted forward. Yeah, you'll be like now. Look at colour of anti look. Look, literally, if, you, if everybody stood on that front, it would literally go forward. That'll probably weigh more than I bought that. Shut up. Yeah, I bet it does. Yeah, it probably does actually. Right, well, you
<laughs> we met a really nice man just a minute ago. He's been on the yard so and helped nice. us take our boat out with all the other yard blokes. And they're all, they're all really nice. They're all really helpful and nice. Um, what are you laughing at? I don't know. But this guy just come up to us and said, oh, I don't know your circumstances and I can see you're here and stuck here and stuff. Here's my bike. And he's just give us his bike to use whenever we want, just in case we need to go to the shop or need some groceries or something, because it's quite a way, quite a, quite a walk. Um, a few miles or something. How nice is that? Like, I, I said to him, are you like trying to get your halo early or something? You know what I mean? What's that about? How nice is that? You meet these people, they're just so kind. There's so much kindness and giving and niceness from people around the world. You just don't realise. There's so many shitty people. Well, we've met some really, really nice people. That I just wanted to say, this guy is just topped. I'm going to get a picture of him at some point and I'll put it on this video and you'll see. But he's just lovely. And he just said, oh, that's just the way I've been brought up. He's at the army, he's working here, living in his van. He said, yeah, you can just use my bike. It's a really nice bike as well. It's, it's like, not like a... Uh, you wouldn't want to get your nick. That's not that sort of bike. It's like no. a nice bike. So, yeah. What a lovely guy. I just wanted everybody to know this guy is the tops. Yes. Thanks. I hope he's watching. I we love you. Yeah. Portland Bill Lighthouse is a functioning lighthouse which is Grade 2 listed. It's quite distinctively looking, white and red striped, and it stands at about 41 metres. It first shone out on the 11th of January 1906. The lighthouse guides passing vessels through the hazard waters surrounding the bill. It guides ships between the Portland Race and the Shambles Bar, which can be quite treacherous. The light itself flashes four times every 20 seconds with a range of 25 nautical miles. And in fog, it sounds a four second blast every 30 seconds and has a range of about two nautical miles. We had loads of fun climbing the lighthouse and seeing all the beautiful views from the top. And afterwards, we climbed Pulpit Rock, which was a little bit scary, but actually I loved it at the top. And you could see for miles, I scared the kids. Although I don't think they really care because they're too busy finding and exploring with some rather large crabs. We then took the very scenic coastal path home. It was probably six or more miles, but we took our time and the views were panoramic. It was really beautiful and the kids thoroughly enjoying themselves adventuring all the way. And then next, we walked all the way into Weymouth. We just never stopped exploring. There was a festival, live music, lots to see and do, and the kids wanted to go on the pedalos. Hey, what would you mean?
it. You did it, you did it. Go show Bo to do it. You need to go deeper, Bo, you see? You need to be... Better go with her because she's too scared to go on her own. Come on, I'm scared. Like this. Like this. Like this. That's it. Go a bit deeper. You need to be as deep as he's on bear. Right, next to me. One. Next to me. One, two, three, go, Bo. Go, Bo. Go. Bo, just do it. Get down. Go on, Bo. Go, go, go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mum ever! Best mother ever! Am I? Our old ones didn't have these! No! He's still videoing! Yeah! That! <laughs> Go on, Bo, do it again! Come on, you give me just a little laugh here! What's she doing? A big thumbs up! Yeah, big thumbs up! Hi guys, today we're going to be watching the helicopter set off. I mean, I'm not joking, that's a real helicopter. And this is Bear's own little bit of filming. He was super excited about being next to the helipad and watching helicopters take off. I'm not joking, it's a real helicopter. Not joking. But well, how comes it's not setting off? I don't know. I don't know why it's not setting off. Yeah, it is now. Bye guys. That's some cool cloud rolling across, isn't it? I got on and made everybody some very yummy bread while Chris did the important stuff and helped Mike, the amazing mechanic who fixed our slit leg, refit it. Which I can tell you from the first time we did it is quite a tricky job. It's very heavy and it's really hard to get that shaft straight and in line and everything in place and back on. As you will see from Bo's little film of these guys struggling for ages. <laughs> Daddy, oh, pass me that rubber mallet, please. What mallet? There's a rubber mallet there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But where? Where? Have to make sure that, that goes. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah. Fingers as well. Got my fingers as well. Yeah. Right, do you need to lift? Yeah, Dad lifts because he's strong. No, I don't think he's as strong as Mike. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> You okay? Am I okay to be here? Alright, now, you rotate the uh, rotate your shaft here, rotate your shaft here. Alright, I'll do that. Fucking Mr. Little Gone. You're a bit chilly. No.
I'm going to record again just to make it good. What are you thinking about this, Dad, Where then? Is it? Hard? Right, all the way. Just keep. Alright, hold it there. Hi, Daddy. Is this hard, Dad? <laughs> and then this mic. What was that? Oh, I'm falling over, guys. But it's, it, it, Mike said it's a hard job to do. Very hard job. Can we try and get something to chop it up? Oh, come on, get in this time. It looks like you're squashing your head. Oh my God, that's awful. Isn't that hurting? Yeah, it looks like it's hurting. And then Dad's head's leaning against me. What are you thinking of this? What's your thoughts of that bear? Oh, uh, I think it hurts. A lot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's zoom in all the way. All the way, all the way. I can't get any clips. <laughs> you okay? Go fish, go fish off the top. Yeah, and then you and can... down the bed. No, no, no. Do, do. You're moving too much, man. I can't see the action. Oh, I'm gonna have to zoom. Right, could you no. rotate the uh, shaft? I'm gonna get in here with this action, man. The leg was on. We got the oil in. The propeller back on, and literally within hours, we're back in the water. I. What where are we going? To the boat, the boat water. which is in the water. The water. Oh. Where is it now then? Uh, it's down there. You can see, you can see, you can see. I can see, I can see. So the blind man has his left off. Oh. oh. There's Daddy. Say hello. Let's go see. He won't get on, he won't get on without me, will he? <laughs> they just haven't got a clue over the bozer, huh? <laughs> nice to see her back in the water. It is very, it looks very sleek. We're back in the water like it's never happened. The next morning we set off across Lime Bay in big winds and quite large seas. So join us next week and we'll take you on a lovely little sail to a beautiful little place called Fishcombe Bay. Remember, hit that like button and give us a big thumbs up. If you like what we're doing, please consider supporting us on Patreon so I can continue this mad journey.